Okay guys, we are going to be putting this puzzle that we did um, into this frame without using any glue. So we will show you how to do that and how you can keep your beautiful puzzle forever. And it uh, goes back to that Disney puzzle we did, 750 piece Disney puzzle, really cute, really cool. Um, we actually got this frame at Michael's. Yes. Um, it is an 18 by 24. It I was 50% off, so it was originally $16.99, and we got it for $7.99. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, or it was. Yeah, it was what 40 or 50% off? Yeah, it was 50% off. So yeah, about eight bucks. Yeah, nine so bucks. eight dollars for this frame. Um, and then if it's not on sale, I think they do the 40% off one regular priced item. So. It would make it a little bit more than what we paid, but it would still be a lot cheaper than $17. Okay, so once you um, carefully slide your puzzle onto the backing, you will put the plastic piece back on, and then you will want to have the film side up so that you can go ahead and peel off the protective um, sheet. And then you will, now this isn't gonna cover the whole page because of the, the border. And then you want to start putting these back on and it will be a little hard because you're doing like two or three layers and then the puzzle is pretty thick anyways, so. Bam, that needs to go, that one needs to go here. This one? Yep. Oh. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so after you put the plastic piece on and pull that protective film off, you're gonna wanna attach these borders back on. And it can be tricky. Um, they pop off sometimes when you're in the process of pushing them on, they just slide on, but because there's so many layers, you have to get them on all the layers. And so it just, it takes a minute. Um, but once you get them on, this is the finished product. And then you hang it wherever you want to see it all the time. And it's gorgeous. Yep. Oh, and also keep in mind your tabs for mounting. Depending on, you know, if you're gonna mount it horizontal or vertically, your picture needs to reflect yes. which way you're, you're gonna hang it. So if you notice, the top is, it's gonna hang like this, so that way you can see it. So if you put it in wrong, and your tabs the other way, you could possibly be yes. hanging it upside down. So keep that in mind on which way you, your tab is, uh, like I said, vertical or horizontal, and make sure that it correlates correctly uh, when you hang it, that your image is facing the correct way. So there it is. There you have it. 750 piece puzzle, done, ready to go on the wall. Hey guys, welcome back to another Destination Disney video. Oh yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this real quick. It's one of those little letter boards. And it says, we are going to Disney World 2020. Okay. Flower Garden in April. Um, so we are gonna do something we've never done before. Actually, any of us have never done before. Ain't that right, sweet baby? Yeah. So my dad is a part of... The Georgia the... Defense... Um... Georgia Defense Force? Something like that, yeah. It's part of the, like, I think the, the National Guard? No, the Army. The Army? Mm -hmm. Anyways, so the last time the kids were over there, they got a like MRE. He, he gave them an MRE. Okay, so we're gonna do an MRE that we got from my dad and let's look at it. So, as you can tell, it says meal, individual. This is the first time we've ever like attempted anything like this before, so it's kind of... Oh, you peel it open? Um, there. Oh. Oh. Uh, so, this. hold on. Let's see, what, let's see what flavor we got here. Well, it I was going to take everything out. Asian-style beef strips with vegetables. Mm. Yeah, sounds delicious. Oh, my God. 
Oh wow, you really gotta pull that thing. You open. really gotta have some some That's thumb like muscle there. NASA grade plastic. Alright, so what do all we have in there, babe? We have I mean, good God, I hope you have a pocket knife on you. Oh, I'm sure they do. No, they'll just shoot it open. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so, holy have, cow, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff in here. We've okay, got so Asian, Asian style beef strips with vegetables is in this delicious pack here. Oh, yummy. Oh, we've got cherry blueberry cobbler somewhere in here. Here's some crackers. Crackers oh, and a, a crazy sealed like container. It looks it's all vacuum. Vacuum it's sucked. Sealed, yeah. Beverage based powder grape. All right. That looks like for. Um, a drink. I guess the drink. Yeah, it's a great, great. Oh, yeah, it's just beverage. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I see it. <laughs> okay, and then we beverage. Have... Okay, cool. Apple jelly. Ooh, apple jelly. That's like, oh my god, look at how big the jelly is. Mm -hmm. That's like Costco size. Anyways. Um, okay, I guess this tells right, you else? how to heat everything. What else know. we got, man? Um, utensils. Utensils. Condiments. Fresh nap, crazy looking, awesome, heavy duty grade spoon, um, napkin. And I think there's applesauce cake. Salt and pepper in there too. I don't know what an applesauce what? cake is. Applesauce cake. And here is the Sterling Foods applesauce cake. And here's cherry blueberry cobbler. I don't know why it doesn't focus very well, but this looks kind of nasty. What is this? That's the cherry blueberry. The cherry blueberry cobbler. Crazy. That's kind of mushy. And then I guess you use this to heat your beef stew stuff. Okay, so how do you do that? Um, We're going to read the directions here. Step three. While holding MRE, which is the Asian beef noodle vegetable thing, and the heater, which is, let me show you guys. It's kind of a neat little looking thing. This is the heater pouch. I guess it interacts with water. I'm assuming, I've never had one of these, not in the military, so. Anyway, so, step three. While holding MRE pouch and heater above lines on bag, above these lines, um, Pour water into bag until it reaches a level between the lines. Slide heater and MRE to bottom of bag and fold top of bag to side opposite of heater. So that means when we fold it, the fold needs to be on top. The heater is on the, the bottom and the fold needs to be to the opposite side of the heater. Okay, so we're going to fill this. Okay, so we're going to fill... Oh my God. <laughs> it's, it says don't overfill, he overfilled. I overfilled. Forgive me. <laughs> All right, that's, should be, okay, that should be good. So we're right in between, close to the top of that. Now we're gonna slide both of these down. And we are going to slide the heater pouch down, down as far as it will go. Then we're going to fold to the opposite side of the heater pack. And then that's, so that's step three. Stuff assembly engine, <laughs> it's starting to get warm. So I got a stuff, I think it's a water, <laughs> water activated uh, thing. So we're gonna stuff it into the assembly here. Looks like a hot pocket sleeve. Yeah, it's like a hot, big old hot pocket. And I think this cardboard is to keep it, you from getting 
Oh yeah, you can hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but it's like sizzling. So then, once we do that, I kind of had to cover up step five, but anyways, we're gonna leave it at an angle. And I think that's so that the heat and steam can, can kind of rise. Mm. Um, yeah, you see you the know, steam as, coming out of there? Heat, as heat and steam kind of rise, it'll, it'll kind of go up. Heat will rise, meaning it'll cook from the bottom up. Um, so yeah, you look, you can actually see the steam. <laughs> Fingers crossed, we'll let you guys know an update once it's done cooking. All right guys, so we're back, here we go. We're gonna attempt the beverage, um, the beverage base powder, uh, grape flavor, grape. Uh, we're gonna do this while the other meal's cooking it. Uh, just so y'all know, it takes about I guess depending on how hot or what you're ha what you're having, I think the the minimum time for an MRE is about 12 minutes to cook. So we got a little while. We're gonna do some of these other things. So here we go. We got our 12 ounces of regular tap water or water out of the fridge, however you like it. Um, 12 ounces. Oh wow, it's like a. I thought it would be like a purple, but it's like a white powdery consistency. That's a lot for 12 ounces. I mean, okay, well, I, we've got other packets, but that's, that seems to me like it could do like a whole like pitcher. Okay, so here we go. I think this is gonna taste like garbage. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, look at all the dust. Our uh, trusty spoon that they give us. Oh, it smells good. Oh my God. It's gonna be super dark. And so we're gonna stir and stir and stir. <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. My fire's over. No, I'm serious, it's good. Try it, here. You guys at home, that, uh, that's, that's actually some pretty good stuff. It's really dark, too. Watch the chunks. It's not bad, right? This is all I had to drink. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? I mean, that's pretty... Yes. I, I would I, have to say that's pretty... As you can see, all the chunks have accumulated to the bottom of the glass. <laughs> so I, I, I'm i sure it's not going to be a problem while you're drinking the drink. Yeah, they're so, pretty heavy, so they're yeah, going to stay at the bottom. Yes, yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So, the grape juice, we could we could do that. We could do the grape. Let's have another sip. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's good. Grape juice done. Okay, so we're back. Um, the MRE is, is cooked. It's been in there for about 16, 17 minutes. Um, careful, this thing is still hot. The, the heater pack is still like hot. So it's not really sizzling like it was before if you guys seen earlier, but it is still hot. So don't burn yourself if you ever have to eat one of these and whatever. So um, we're just gonna take the meal out of the pack itself and we're gonna leave the heater bag in the, the bag here. So like I said, be careful pulling it out. It is hot. Put that on a plate and then we will kind of like discard this stuff. Okay. So, there's a little easy. Oh, it's hot. 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 Just kind of mix everything up. Make sure everything is nice and. Stir it up, mixed up, and then we will give you guys a presentation. Here we go. So we'll tear it open. I don't know if you're supposed to like, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to eat it out of the pack. Well, I guess you would if you were, you know, like out in the woods or, you know, in a 
just on the side of the road or you know wherever troops or soldiers kind of eat these at i don't know if they have plates or not but i guess you could eat it out of the bag if you had like a glove on or something or some napkins you could hold it to not burn yourself um it smells really good oh it looks really good i don't know if you guys can see that or not but there's a variety of vegetables um in there which i guess hence the vegetable in the description but man that looks delicious i'll be honest i i could go for another one of these i'm thinking already let's try to get a little bit of everything here so we got a mushroom looks like some red pepper uh looks like a noodle um either and that's some beef beef um what else we got in here looks like a little bit of potatoes like diced little small diced tomatoes Corn. Um, well, I don't know if that's corn. I think it's just small diced tomatoes. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, it's, I thought it was corn at first too, but it's not. And it looks like we might have some green peppers in here too. So, a lot of vegetables, a little bit of noodle uh, right here, beef, mushrooms. This looks delicious. So, let's give it a try. See what we got. Mm. Wow. Mm. Okay, so I might have been wrong on the potatoes. I think those are water chestnuts, diced water chestnuts, and they are good. So let me get one more bite here just to make sure that I'm right. Get some of those in there. Yep. Mm. This is good. Like, coming into this whole thing, I thought I was going to be like, you know, puking and like, uh, but this stuff is really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so we're back. Um, Sterling Foods, celebration taste, applesauce, cake. It's TFF. I don't know. <laughs> if you know what TFF stands for, uh, let us know in the comments below. Truffle, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, so Sorry, applesauce, guys. cake, uh, and we're... Never had any race, so we're thinking that the uh, cherry blueberry cobbler kind of goes on top as like a topping, maybe. So we'll bust them open separately, and then we'll also try them separately and try them together to give you guys kind of a, a thing. So here we go. Applesauce cake truffle, I guess. I could smell that immediately. As soon as you opened the pack, it smelled, oh, it smelled <laughs> so good. Oh, just like applesauce, yeah. too, or like a, like a cake applesauce. Okay, so it, it's, I don't know why that's, don't, do that's not eat. That's for moisture, yeah, yeah do moisture. not eat that. Yeah, do not eat that. <clears throat> so I do think that this is definitely the topping. Just by the way this is shaped and the way that, that the texture is on this, definitely looks like um, you would probably eat these two together. I could be wrong. If you know, comment below and let us know. So let me try a piece of this. I'm gonna try the edge. Probably not the best piece to try, but just to kind of see here. Mm. <laughs> wow, wow. The stuff you get in an MRE bag. You'd never know. MREs for everybody. MREs. I'm gonna start packing. We're gonna start packing the kids lunch with them, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm gonna start packing my yeah. lunch with them, right? Yep. Mm. Oh, wow. You gotta try this, baby. Okay. Okay, well, anyways. Okay, so. That's good. I and mean, it's, it's not it's, dry or anything. It's not like super dry at all. Mm -hmm. It's got really good flavor. Mm -hmm. um, wow, it's like not like cinnamon, but it, well, I don't yeah, know. It, no, it, it does, does taste does like, like I was gonna say cinnamon or most nutmeggy sauce, or yeah. Yeah, most applesauce does like have I guess cinnamon. In it. Not every bit of applesauce, but that is really good. It also has like some kind of it has chunks of apples yeah. in is it. Is that what it is? Yes, I guess because I bit awesome. into one. <laughs> Okay, cool. All right, so that was a cake. Next comes the cherry blueberry cobbler. And we will, uh, they didn't say to heat this up, but I kind of think it should have been heated up. But I guess cherry and blueberry cobbler cold is still good. Well, it's room temperature. Yeah, I guess. Depending on where you're at. Okay, just to give you guys a glimpse of what it looks like in the bag. Pretty disgusting looking, but it does smell, it smells really good. 
So let's just dump it out. And then we'll just kind of get a bite of each. That way you guys can kind of see what this stuff looks like. Oh, so it comes with like a little something in it already. So maybe you don't eat these together. Because if it's got the stuff right there, then you don't need the applesauce cake to go with it. So, okay, so hmm. I guess that answers our question. Maybe it doesn't, but this is like the, the cobbler, the breading, if you will, that comes with the cobbler. So maybe you don't need the applesauce cake. Here we go. We are going to try the cherry blueberry cobbler here we go at room temperature this is not a heated item it does not say in the mre to heat this up so this is going to come whatever temperature wherever you're at uh, if you've had it in your back pocket or if you've had it in your pack case or your pack bag or suitcase or whatever um, so here we go not good so Marley is going to attempt now to eat. Now I'm kind of nervous because of Brian's reaction. Yeah, you're, I know you. If you like it, you're crazy. <laughs> I mean, you kind of like, you. I don't know, you like blueberry though. Yeah. And I make my own blueberry pie at Thanksgiving, so. Well, don't even compare that because. Yeah. Okay, you gotta remember, it's not just blueberry, it's cherry blueberry. It's, it's not, it's not completely bad. It doesn't have much flavor, and it's not very sweet, but it's not horrible. But I don't like how they put this in there with it, because it's real mushy. I, I, I know, think it, I would prefer I think it that's to be what, separate like that. I think that's what made it kind of nasty. I mean, because look, I mean, that just doesn't look very appetizing. No, it's it's like the bread's been... It's kind of like a like a soggy, super soggy piece of... I'm going to try it with the with the apple... What is this? We'll just call it an apple fritter. Apple fritter? Apple. It's like an applesauce cake, but... Maybe it'll be better like that. I didn't think about that. So okay, so I'm trying the just the the sauce part um, of the cobbler uh, without the breading in it, and then the um, apple sauce cake or whatever it was. That's probably a lot better. Mm-hmm. That tastes much better again. Yeah. For sure. It does? Yeah. So I have to try it now? Yes. Oh, I'm not getting none of that in there. No, just get the, yeah, just get the, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the saucy part. What is it, Maggie girl? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. Give me another. That's good. I think that. Mm-hmm. Breading and that is nasty. This and this, I'll have another. This, not another. Okay, cool. All right, so next, guys, we have the crackers. Um, these things are like, I don't know if you can see, but it's like, mm -hmm. it looks like cardboard inside of a package. And the texture on it kind of makes it look like it's a graham cracker. So let's tear into this guy and see what we got. Oh, wow. Oh, I bet these are to eat with the... Maybe they're to eat with, like, the, the Asian stir-fry stuff. These things are huge. Like, put these in one of those, like, Mondo Burger machines at the thing, like, Ritz crackers on. Oh, they're, like, four. Okay, I see now. So they're, like... It's like a four, um, what do they call them? Not Ritz crackers. Uh, like, I don't know, butter crackers or no, something? Oh, kind of, but there's like a name. I'm, I'm drawing Keebler, the Keebler crackers, maybe? Mm, no. Kind of. I don't know. So, I, well, I guess you could attempt to break these. So, really dry. smell like crackers, I guess. 
So also Mondo size apple jelly. Um, let's give this a whirl. Oh my god. It smells pretty good. Tastes good. Tastes like real apple jelly. I'm assuming this is how you eat this. If this is not how you eat this... <laughs> sorry. Sorry, don't make fun of me. Just comment <laughs> in below and let me know what how you're supposed to eat it. Yeah. And it's real oh. runny. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a... It's just like jelly. I mean, it's basically jelly. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Welcome back, guys. Okay, so the last thing in the MRE is going to be the coffee, um, which I think is kind of weird, uh, but I I kind of like coffee at night. I don't know if soldiers like coffee at night or or what, but I think it's kind of weird to have coffee in a, in my opinion, it's like a dinner MRE because of what we had, um, but I don't know if, like, there's such thing as a breakfast MRE if you just eat whatever's in there whatever time of the day. But anyways, so they've got, the last thing in here is coffee. Um, it's instant coffee, so it goes right into your coffee cup, and then you fill it with hot water. So let's give this a whirl. I've got my coffee cup, spoon, hot water's already heated. Here we go. Let's give it a whirl. Let's see what it looks like, what the grounds look like. Probably like any other ground, really dark, nice. Okay. We will dump that in. And I don't know how you guys normally like your coffee, but I like um, a little sugar with my coffee. Some people like a little coffee with their sugar. Um, you know, it just depends. So I'm going to do about. I don't know, maybe about well, I guess you have much. to like your coffee however they give it to you because they only give you two sugars and one creamer. So yeah, you only get. If you don't like it black, at least then you though have to like I will like say that. at least it is Nestle Coffee Mate, which is a decent brand. So yeah. that's a good thing. Thumbs up for that. Um, nothing wrong with giving the guys defending the country the good stuff. So okay, so for you guys that like your coffee black, let's give it a whirl. Just straight black. No sugar, no creamer, nothing. Um, instant coffee. It's probably a little hot, but we're gonna give it a whirl. Here we go. Really hot, oh my God, probably shouldn't do this. Mm. Yeah, that doesn't taste like coffee. But, if that was the closest thing to coffee, I'd drink it. If I couldn't <laughs> have actual coffee. That was really hot. I mean, I don't know, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it kind of tastes like, you know, hot dirt water. Um, but it's not bad. Um, it's not really strong. It's got just kind of a bland coffee taste. Uh, you can tell it's kind of a... Uh, on the cheaper side. It's not anything like super aromatic or whatever, but <clears throat> so now we're gonna put the two sugar packets in. One on that side and one on that side. And we're also going to put the creamer packet in. Here we go. Wow, that's some fluffy goodness right there. We'll let this stir in. Oh yeah. That's looking like a cup of coffee now. Let's stir it up. Did you guys notice I am using a metal coffee cup here so it makes it a lot hotter, it stays hotter longer. Smells like a little bit more like coffee. It smells good. Let's give it a try. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, a little on the 
non-sweet side. But it gives the coffee more flavor. Like, I guess, if people that are used to drinking it with a little coffee and a little creamer should taste like. So, not bad. Not bad at all. You want to try it, honey? Mm -hmm. No, I'll pass. Okay, well, that, that pretty much finishes it off, guys. A, a nice... Uh, warm cup of coffee on a late cold night but overall MRE not too bad uh, if I had to if I had to eat them for months on end it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal What up, guys? It's Destination Disney back. Again? <laughs> I just told you not to do that. Guys, Destination Disney back again with another video. Huh? I was just doing what he says all the time. No. No. Alright, guys. So, this is uh, how many days we got until Flower and Garden Festival. No. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Okay, so we just got done doing the MRE thing, and I wanted to give you guys an update on how many days. Yeah. And the puzzle thing. And the puzzle thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna um, have to edit that out because I didn't know you were fixing it that way like a retard. I know, I already filmed it. Wow. Cool. The power's a stain. <laughs> like anybody's never seen steam before. Uh, our luck, the bag will just incinerate. <laughs> Hopefully not, so. <laughs> oh, it's like chunky. <laughs> stir and drink, stir and drink. <laughs> it smells good. It smells, it smells like grape. Kind of smells like the Robitussin when you were a kid. You know, you had the Robitussin cough syrup. That's what it smells like. That's not bad. What about the chunks? Are they hitting you yet? Or No. <laughs> uh, almost came on my nose. Can't do that. <laughs> this is this too. It's too small. Let it rot. It's too small. <laughs> spoon. Where'd the spoon go? You threw it away. No, I think it's gone. Oh. I think it's been. Okay, so. I want some more of that stew for dinner. <laughs> Everything else in the MRE makes up for it. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you want me to cut the video? You kind of get stuck in the back of your throat there? Yeah. I don't know, that just, ugh. like. I'm sorry, Maggie's farting behind you. We need to uh, deal with the hat. While you're sitting back with your your brothers and your pals, and also they give you a fresh nap to clean your hands and your mouth off with. <clears throat> so I guess I'm gonna use it real quick. I really don't need it, but it's in here. I'm gonna use it. So nice, nice smell. Lemon scent. Lemon scent. <laughs> oh yeah. If you got any cuts and bruises, this will sure give you a sting. You know, kind of clean your area up, your your hands a little bit, and your mouth, I guess. Um, so yeah, leaves you smelling clean. 
coffee to wash your insides <laughs> later in the, the, day, the day or the night wake you up I'll have to uh, give a follow-up on this on how bad it made me go to the bathroom afterwards normally coffee they say coffee's like a natural laxative so I guess we're fixing to find out how long that Asian style beef and vegetables is gonna last <laughs>